Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I'm going to share with you my favorites, my fails. I'm going to announce a secret giveaway winner. I'm going to tell you how I got duped and going to talk about television. Today is September 2nd. It is a beautiful day, but I haven't used the color well in my hair. So if it's frizzy, that's why I haven't washed my hair this month. And I've been getting a lot of compliments on my skin. I really have. And I want, there's a couple of reasons for that. It's still humid. It's still hot, even though it's lovely. And I retain water in warmer months, just like with my ring. I usually wear it on this finger. I used to wear it on this finger and then I lost weight. And in the winter, a lot of times I have to wear it here. So my face is a little fuller. Plus, I think my skin's really been liking the derma rolling. But thank you very much. And I always do put what I'm wearing, what makeup I'm wearing in the information area below this. And if it's not listed, that means I don't have it on. I have never enjoyed shopping and I just about order everything online. And I'll tell you, I know now kind of why. I had to return a package to CVS in the next town over and I thought, you know, I'm gonna look at their makeup. Well, the only cruelty-free brands that I saw were CoverGirl and Physicians Formula and Wet n Wild. And some of the products that I wanted to try, they didn't have any of them, but they had, they had tons of other makeup that wasn't cruelty-free. And today in my favorites, I do have some makeup and a little bit of skincare. And the first thing I wanna talk about is a brush. And I had given two sets of BK Beauty brushes away and one of them had this one in it. And my friend Mary, Glitzy Fritzy said, oh my gosh, I can't believe you gave the 102 brush away. And here's the 102 brush. She said it was her very favorite powder brush. And I think it's really meant for loose powders, but hopefully I'll give you a demo of doing a light coat using the, the CC Plus powder. I do love this brush. It, it just, it feels so good on the skin. And a lot of times all I really want is just a very light coat of powder if I wear anything. So this was a winner and I'm really glad I bought it. I bought it during, I think she had 20% off. I do have a 10% discount code. But if you sign up for her emails, anytime she has a sale, she will send you an email. And speaking of Mary, she did an excellent, excellent video on all of the Sigma brushes she owns. I found it really fascinating. You don't have to own Sigma brushes to watch it, but you may see a certain brush and you may have it from a different brand. And if you know what that brush is intended for, you, you could put it to use. But I really did enjoy that video and I will link it below. I placed an order to IT Cosmetics. Uh, they had, I think, a 30% off sale, and I was very happy to know they still have the CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. They don't claim that it is an SPF of, uh, they don't claim any SPF. The first three ingredients are mica, uh, titanium oxide, and zinc oxide. I guess they just didn't want to put the claim on there, but I love that. And that's what I'm wearing today, but I'm wearing more than I did in the demonstration video that I showed you. I did, I used a smaller brush and I filled in the areas here with a little brush. I bought this several months ago in an Ulta order and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Freeze. And I'll do a little demonstration. I absolutely love this. I've been using hairspray on my brows and that's something I do pretty well every day is my brows. And I was noticing that uh, there was a little bit of flakiness underneath my brow and I thought, that's that alcohol in the hairspray. So I had really been on the search for a long time for something good that freezes my brows. I don't have to use anything on them but something that's clear like this and uh, and I love it. And I anything that's in a pot, I always store upside down and I, and I don't have things dry out on me. I was talking to my friend, Natalie, the beauty diva. I was looking for some different eyeliners and I know I can get drugstore eyeliners and I know some of them are really good and they are really good. But when you're a little bit older, I just want to be, I just kind of like with my eyes, I want to use the best stuff that I can. And she reminded me that if you order makeup from Nordstrom, that there's no shipping and handling. Well, I think if you order anything from Nordstrom, there's no shipping and handling. So I was wanting a powder eyeliner that you use with water. And of course it has to be cruelty free. 
and I found one from Trish McAvoy. I had to depot it and put it in this little container right here because it just came in a plastic thing, but I really do like it. I've worn it on and off for a couple of months and I don't need to, I don't have to wear any eyeshadow, any primer, anything on my lids and it does stay all day. And this is the brush I was using, this little tiny brush right here, I was using to apply it. I just squirt water right in the, on the mirror and then get my eyeshadow and, and I like it. Something else I bought that I really like, it's a Hello Lights Creme Highlighter. And I'll tell you, this is gonna be a giveaway. So just wait till later on and, and I'll tell you about it. Here it is, I watched him demonstrate it. And what I do with it, and I don't have any on right now, but I just use my two fingers on the bottom part of it and go like this and touch wherever I want to have highlighted. And I don't know if that's gonna show in here or not, but oh man, it shows in my mirror here. If I wanna put it on in the inner part of my eye, I would take a small brush and just put it there. You know, if you wanna highlight your upper lip or above your eyebrows or your eyebrows, but I do really like this. So uh, I got this from QVC and I better put some on this other side. <laughs> but I just kinda go like that and use it wherever I want, just a little bit of highlight. Until this past year, until this year, I was a huge fan of the Ordinary AHA 30 BHA peel, and it just became too strong for my face. Well, when I did my extras video and I shaved my face, I just was so shocked on how much stuff came off. I, I really was. I almost didn't show it, but I thought, I'm gonna add something in. And on June the 2nd, I started using this. And this is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% and it's a toning solution. And I've tried it many ways and here's how it works for me. I absolutely love the Shiseido Cottons and I cut them into four pieces. So about a couple of times a week, I will put this on my face and a little bit on my neck and I avoid the eye area and I will let it set for probably five, 10 minutes and then I go in with the Miracle Water, the It Miracle Water, and I take it off. If I leave it on too long, it, it kind of bothers me. But what it does, it really does help loosen any dry skin. And I've noticed when I'm shaving, even though I use my enzymatic peels every other Sunday, this really has helped a lot. And I know it's less than $10. And, and it's just been, well, it's been part of my... Uh, Routine since June 2nd, and I still have a whole lot left. I always wait a few months before I talk about something just because I want to see if it is as good. And this is what works for me. It may not work for you, but it works for me. And I ordered it from Amazon, and it's right here. And Jim took a picture of me the other morning, and if I can figure out how to put it in here, if it, wor if it worked, I'll show you what it looks like on. It's made of rayon and spandex. And in the description, when you look at all the information, it you know it says you're supposed to wash it and let it drip dry. Well, I'm a good size 14 is what I pretty well wear. And you would normally get an extra large. Well, because I knew that I was not going to drip dry this. I, I, I was gonna dry it in the dryer until it was almost dry and hang it up. I ordered an extra, extra large. There's only one thing I don't like about it. It comes up higher, kind of like a princess style waistband. And I'm fine with it. I would have preferred it if it was longer. I don't know if it's because I was busty. I really like it. It's comfortable. I can sit down without it opening up. And, uh, and the color is just okay. I prefer a pinker pink than this, but I am really happy with it. And I've been weird. I don't know how many times I've washed it and it's held up just really well. When, as soon as I got it, I checked all the seams and everything looked good. I found some good elevation protein meal bars, chocolate peanut butter. I found them at Aldi. They have 12 grams of protein, uh, 10 grams of fiber, and I think they're 12 grams of carbs, which, you know, I like them to be a little less low carb than that, but I really do like them. So I did find these and they're good. And I gotta read something to you. I got a comment on, on my video and it tickled me to death. And then I'll talk about something else. And I'm not gonna say who wrote it, but she's a very nice woman who wrote this. She said, I love your videos and follow everyone that you do. 
No offense to you, of course, but we tried three different flavors of Built Bars and it's like chewing rubber, rubber tires. Glad you enjoyed them though. I read that to Jim and he went, well, they are really chewy, he said, but they taste like good rubber tires, but that's just like everything. You know, there's three flavors that I love. I love the cookies and cream, I love the peanut butter, and the coconut almond. Those are my three go-to. They did send me some samples of the raspberry cheesecake, and I don't have any left. They were delicious, but I will tell you, they have seeds. If your doctor told you not to eat anything with seeds, there are seeds in these, but they're delicious. They had something new. I think they'll come again. They're called protein balls, and this is the package that they were in, and there were two of them, and I really liked them. I bought some. I'm, in fact, I've got an order in right now. The puff bars were back, and I, I bought three boxes of those, and with that, I could buy a box of these for $14.95. Uh, I don't like them as much as I do the Built Bars, and I love the Puff Bars. So if you get their emails, you're already aware of it, and they'll probably be back. I don't know. That's one thing I don't understand. Things, not everything's always available when you want it, but maybe they'll eventually get it that way. Dermatology sent me their vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid, and I've tried it on this half of my face. I guess for the last six weeks, and I've used my, I'm back to use, I use Timeless or Skin Diva is what I use, and they're very affordable. I think this sells for $69, and I do have a 20% off discount, so I think it'd be like $55. I can't tell any difference at all. I'm going to continue trying it, but if, I know that I would not repurchase it because I, I'm liking what's going on with my skin at way under half the price of that. So that's okay, now I've got two fails. When I place the order for the CC Plus Powder powder Foundation, I thought, well, I am gonna try one of their new no-tag gel eyeliners. They replaced their, they, they reformulated. They had it in blue. It's when you have to sharpen. I am fine, I don't care if you have to sharpen them or if they're already, you know, the kind you roll up. In fact, sometimes I really do like a pencil better because I don't want a sharp tip because the only thing I do with this is my upper waterline. It was horrible. It was chunky. I mean, when I say chunky, it would skip. I don't know what they did, but it does not work anymore. It works very well for an eyeliner above the lashes, but I don't I, I prefer other types. I, I'm not one that has ever liked pencils above my eyelashes. So this is a fail when it came to my upper waterline. But if you use eyeliner above your lashes or below your lashes, it was good. But for my purpose, it wasn't. And then, you know, I've been wearing my Apple Watch, loving my Apple Watch. I'm not having any uh, problems at all with the stainless steel. So I thought, well, all I can wear is 14 karat gold earrings. I can get by with wearing sterling silver for a few hours, but you know, I don't have a lot of earrings. Well, I thought, well, I can wear stainless steel, so I'm going to order some. And I ordered two pair, and I like both of them. I wear a lot of Huggies, these little tiny Huggies. I put them in, and within 15 minutes, my ears started bothering me. So my daughter isn't a uh, doesn't have any metal allergies. You would think that stainless steel would not bother your ears, but it did. So I'll just keep wearing my gold earrings and I'm not gonna try anything else, not going to. Now I wanna talk about television. We have internet and we have cable and there is absolutely no way that I can get rid of cable. Jim, there's so many shows that Jim likes he, and he likes to DVR shows. So all you people that were able to cut cable, I am impressed for you. If I lived here by myself, I wouldn't have it. I mean, I really wouldn't. I would have internet and I wouldn't have all those shows because I don't watch that much TV. I watch TV when I come in the bedroom at night and normally it is on, it's on some streaming device. I always have Netflix and I, I do the one that just for one TV and I think it's $8.99 a month. And then I rotate different ones and right now I have um, Peacock is my other app that I use. I heard about this from Melissa55, and I tell you what, it was called Dr. Death, 
and I could not believe it. I, I couldn't believe it. If you're going to be having surgery, don't watch it because it's a true story about a doctor that caused death and harm to a lot of people. But what was interesting is how they finally got him. It was very scary, very eye-opening, and very well done. So, I mean, I did enjoy it, and so I thought I'd pass that on to you. I am watching the ninth season of Call the Midwife. Love that. Uh, love Sister Monica Joan. Love Sister Julianne. I, I love the whole cast. I think they're great. I went to a Catholic school and we didn't have any nuns that had those pretty names. Our nuns were the school sisters of Notre Dame and we had Sister Anne's Bertha, Sister Celicia, and Sister Ignatius. It's a nice show if you haven't watched it. it it's I think it's very good. Something else I enjoyed was Dirty John, the Betty Broderick story. And I'm not sure if it's on USA. I had a hard time finding it. And once I found it, I watched it and I thought it was very interesting. It kind of showed a little different side to what Betty Broderick went through. So I thought it was very good. I finished two episodes of Yellowstone and I stopped it. I mean, there was killing and everything, everything that you can imagine, but it, it was a show. What I like is something that grabs me, that I wanna watch the next one, and I wanna watch the next one. So I watch one episode every night, and I stopped at the end of the second season. I know something surprising happens at the end of the third season, so I thought I'd start watching it again once the fourth season gets aired. I wanna share with you, and this may surprise a lot of you, I wanna, I want to share with you my very favorite episodic um, series that I've ever seen. And this was from my best friend since Brownies. She lives in Springfield. And this was, I mean, years ago. She said, there is a show you have got to watch. She said, the character development is unbelievable. The storyline is great. I, I know you will love it. And she told me the name of it. So I searched it out on the internet and I watched the first episode and I said, I don't think this is one I'm gonna like at all because it, it had everything in it. She said, keep watching. Well, I tell you what, that hooked me and I watched every episode and the name of it was Justified. In fact, I told my friend Pat, the one who passed away last on January 1st, I was telling her about it and uh, she loved it so much when she, they bought a home out in the hills. Where she, Pat always rode, rode horses and that she could go and ride her horses. And the name of their cabin and their land is Justified. But it's not for everybody, but it was one of them that grabbed me and it actually ended. There was an ending to it. There was a beginning, there was an end. You know, I live in Southern Illinois and we have a couple of counties that are south of us that if you get on the wrong gravel road, people come out on their front porch with shotguns. You don't know what's going on there. So a little of that was realistic to me. Before I tell you about how I was scammed, I want to announce the secret giveaway winner. And that winner is Rose J. Rose, be sure and leave a comment below and I'll let you know how to get in touch with me. Congratulations. Okay, I got to share something with you. I was duped and I've got to make some changes. My, on my last video that I had announced the giveaway winners, I put it in the title plus th three winners. I will never do that again. What happened is within the first hour, three people claimed their gifts and I was so excited that all three people watched within the first hour. You know, that, that was like wonderful to me. Well, one of them said PayPal, and one of them said they wanted an e-vanilla gift card. It was like a Visa card. And then the other one, the, the first one who said they wanted PayPal, sent me back and said, can I change it? Well, I said, sure, you know. So I went ahead and went to this e-vanilla, myvanilla gift card .com, and I put in both of their information, and I put in my debit number, and it said it was declined. So I emailed them back and said, we'll have to do something different. So they both went at Amazon. And this was early on Monday morning. Didn't think anything of it. My third winner claimed her gift and she wanted PayPal. Later in the day, after all this was said and done, later in the day, I had comments from 
what I believe were the true winners, you know. I am so excited to win. Um, anyway, it was a mess. All of them ended up, uh, my $150 giveaway ended up being a $300 giveaway. I had to close my bank account because not only was it, it, it wasn't accepted, but it, de it deducted the amount from my account. And I called the bank and they said, you need to get a new debit card, close out that debit, don't use it which causes a lot of problems because I have a lot of things automatically taken out of that checking account. So then I opened up a new Gmail and that is only gonna be for winners. So what I'm gonna do moving forward, I am going to, you know that when I do a giveaway, the next time I upload a video, I announce the winners. So I'll never put winners in the title anymore. And I'm going to wait for 24 to 48 hours before I send the gift. I like to do it just like that. I love that, but those times are gone, and I guess they just needed the money. So, after all that, I want to let you know that today is a giveaway, and I am excited. It is international, and you just have to be 18 years old or older, and I'll let you know what I want you to say after I talk about what I'm going to give away. And because this is a giveaway, I cannot reply to comments, but if you go to any other video, and if you need to ask me a question, I'll be glad to answer it there. The first gift that I have to give is the Hello Light Cream and the Brush. And this has never been opened, and I'll show you what the brush is like. It has a tip like this, and it would be great for lots of things. So I'm, this goes, this is a Knit Cosmetics brush, and it goes with the cream that I demonstrated earlier, this one right here. So this is what I'm gonna call the set. Just the other day, I received in the mail from Dermatology their Needless Serum, and I got two bottles of it. I am not gonna use it, and I'll tell you why. I am really happy with how my skin has been, been behaving, and I'm next month I'm gonna be 68, so I've gotta really be careful what I put on my skin. And plus, I mean, like these are $69, even with my discount, they're $55. And I'm just, I'm just, if my skin takes a turn downward, I will buy some because I, my oldest sister really likes them. So anyway, I have two bottles of these. So that is my giveaway for today. And if you wanna be entered in your comment below, in a sentence, if you want this, is if this is your first choice, use the word S-E-T, set. And if you want this to be your first choice, just use the word serum, and I will know what you're interested in. The first name that comes up gets their choice. The second name that comes up, if they've mentioned both of them, they'll get the other, so there, there'll be three winners. It is all good. Uh, thank you all for all your support. I appreciate it more than you will ever know. I will see you in my next video, and take care. And warmer, and I was, and she, and because I will put it, uh, your, you know, the CC Plus Cream. So that was one of my favorites. In 